Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of my Concrete Jungle series. So it's the morning of day 9. And I went ahead and made a couple of tools last night. Now I really didn't want to go ahead and make iron tools yet because we can only make level 2. Um, but I figure we need to do some work today. I mentioned yesterday that we need to go and get resources to make our base. So I did sort of an offline build of what I want to do just to see how much material it would take. And the base that I want to do is kind of a combination pipe bomb base slash walkway base. So the pipe bomb base would be the first line of defense. So it's basically a, it's a, basically a tower. And then when that gets under threat, we can kind of go up the uh, ladder to the upper part of the tower. Then it becomes a walkway base and we fight the zombies up on the, off the walkway. So I'm hoping the pipe bomb base works out just fine. When I tried to build my original pipe bomb base... Uh, in an offline playthrough just using regular means. The zombies did not path how I wanted them to. Normally the, the corners of the base of the tower um, are set up as individual kind of pillars and inside the pillars there's the electric fence post that crosses in front of where the slots are on each of the sides so we can shoot out of. And then that would electrocute the zombies and we would throw pipe bombs and molotovs and kill them that way. If you haven't seen my um, Blasted Oasis playthrough. Go watch the last couple of episodes of that and it'll show you what the pipe bomb base kind of is. But I tried to build that base and it doesn't work because the zombies attack the towers, the corner towers where the wires are as opposed to coming at the windows where you are. So I'm like, okay, that's, like, that's a huge issue. And I don't know whether it's because they see it as being quicker to get to me or what, but I, when I ran a, a day 21 horde on that base... They just went for those corner towers and I ended up being on the roof dropping stuff down on them all night and it was a real pain. So I think I've developed a way that I can get around that. Now, I built the base offline without testing it because I don't want to like be sure that it works. I want to like run it for the first time in game. So I know how it's got to be laid out. It's going to be about 1500 blocks in size. It's, it's a huge base. Uh, but it's a very small footprint base. It's not a not a very big base, but it's it's like scale wise. But it just it needs a lot of blocks to work. So I need at least 500 blocks to start for the bottom pipe bomb base. Just the basic base itself. Uh, we got to make sure it's on secure ground. And um, yeah, so it's going to be a bit of an ordeal to get all the materials we need. As you can see here, I've got 88 blocks worth of cobblestone and 56 blocks worth of concrete. I got a little bit going more in the mixer, so we don't have anywhere near what we need, another 10 blocks worth to get what we need done. So today is going to be a resource gathering day and an exploration day. If we have a look at the map, there's a couple things I want to check out. So there's a couple of places here. There's this place here, which is the construction site. I want to go hit that up, grab the resources, which is why I made this the... Uh, the shovel and the, the pickaxe it'll help us get through that a little quicker there's another one down here we can check i want to pass by this drop again to see if i can find it it's probably up on a roof i i don't know but we'll drive by there because i want to check out this side of the town too and find out what's over here we have to decide where the base is going to be uh so hopefully i can kind of get down here before end of day because i was thinking originally of doing it on like in my offline playthrough, I built it on one of these intersections, and there's a sewer system. I think there's a sewer entrance over here and over here. And I know there's a, underneath this spot here, there's a little underground room. So I, because I know that already, I don't want to go ahead and build a base there because I already know how it's going to work. I would rather find some place that I don't know how it's going to work. So I would rather go down maybe into the industrial area of town because I know there's a lot of like cool like causeways and like, you know, underground potential down here. I have have never explored this, so I don't know really what's going on down there. So I want to go down and see if I can find a place down here to build the base, I think. It's a little far from home, but I don't really care. Um, so yeah, let's go hit up these first. I'll hit these two up first, maybe travel down here, take a look around, and then we'll, come, we'll kind of come back up this way. And if we get time, we'll go looking for the drop. I don't think it's that important, but uh, yeah. So let's get out here. Oh yeah, we do have those two... Um, ergonomic grip mods. I put them both on these guys and changed the bat to the spike mod. Uh, just we've got a bit of uh, what do you want to call it? A bit of ability to dig up stuff faster. 
I'm not sure if you saw in the workbench there, I got a battery bank going. Um, if we can get some power, I, I have a feeling we're not going to have a horde base, oop, a little bit of lag. We're not going to have a horde base ready for day 14. So most likely we're going to have to find a building somewhere to hold down for the horde. Uh, which shouldn't be a problem. I mean, we've got a few pipe bombs. We've got a few molotovs. I can always make some more. Um, so I want to, but I want to be, be careful of how much gas we're using because uh, we need it for the, the uh, motorcycle here. And there's only going to be a limited supply for the first little bit until we can get a chem station. All right. Site de construction numéro un. And let's take care of this biker first. Oh, no, he's a business guy. Thought it was a biker. What's up, buddy? Not having a good day? I guess not. A little bit of lag. It's early in the morning for me here, so I'm just kind of logging in. Um, it's usually a little bit laggier in the morning for me. All right, let's um, dig up. We're gonna need all the sand. I could use I could use stone uh, and make it into sand, but it's just more efficient to do it this way, I find. Plus, we get a little bit of clay, which is always needed as well. Now I brought a bunch of coffee too. Hopefully it'll help me burn through this material a little faster with the additional stamina regen because without uh, a lot of um, sexual Tyrannosaurus skill, it's like you you rapidly lose uh, you rapidly lose stamina with these iron tools, which is why I've stayed with the stone ones for so long. Now well, we got a workman down here. Let's just take care of this guy. Should be another zombie down in here too, but I think he's in the front room up there. All right, what's up here? Oh. Heard somebody sleeping down here. That nurse disappeared. Uh, let's grab this bag. Then we'll dig up the resources. Ah, a whole bone, eh? I brought, I brought some coffee with me, like I said. It's definitely going to help out with stamina regen. There's a lot of resources here, so it's just going to take a while to dig them all up. Alright, I've seen another walker, not just her. So let's go clear up. Hopefully we can find this last zombie down here too. In this building. Hello. Ooh, I barely even saw you there. There's a construction worker over here. Should be another guy here though in the building. Shouldn't be love tapping that guy. Let's go down here and find him. Oi! Normally he's right here. Probably back here. Oh, there you are. Sucks to be you, buddy. Good night. Free gas. A whole 22, eh? Somebody's been burning the candle at both ends. Use up all my gas. Alright, we got a skill point to spend. Before we go any further, let's just quickly spend that. Uh, I'm going to go into Mother Load. Simply because we get a little bit more resource, re resources, resources when we mine stuff. So, rather than getting uh, 50 stone out of the stone piles, we'll get, uh, um, we'll get 60 stone. I it doesn't affect the cobblestone, and I'm pretty sure it doesn't affect the randomness of the uh, concrete piles. But at least the uh, the stone will get more, and then if we have to mine any uh, um, nitrate powder or coal for making gunpowder a little later on, at least we'll get more out of that too. This POI always gets me paranoid because, like, just down that hallway there, there's like a little uh, cave that goes down there. There's a friggin' zombie bear down there, and I'm always worried that when I come in here to grab these materials, he's gonna wake up. Never has. But that doesn't stop me from being worried. <laughs> that 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 just ends your day right there. Unless you're if you're in early game stage, that's a kind of a day ender. But uh, you know, later game it's not so bad because zombie bears aren't that bad when you've got better weapons. But just early game, it's like you just don't want to be tangling with one. Okay, it takes care of the downstairs. There's the bag here. I want to check out. Ooh, nice. We need, do need food. I brought a little bit of food with me. Not a lot, but I figure when we're out, we can always go look. Uh, oh, that's not bad. Ten dukes. I'll take that. Uh, we might find some stuff. 
Like, we'll, we'll pull off a quick raid in a uh, building downtown to get some food if we need it. Which we probably will. Going based on how much we used off of this place. Just gathering re resources seems to spend a lot in uh, food and water. So, let me, get, let me grab the rest of this and then we'll head out. Alright, we broke down those workstations. Excellent. Anything in here? Ooh, a little bit of pipes. We found a pipe pistol in one of the bags, so let's get that repaired. And I think we just go ahead and scrap the rest of these. We can scrap these cans. Probably scrap those springs too. I just don't know, remember how much I've got at home, so maybe we'll hold on to them. Uh, just hang out of that for now. We got, well, the thing too is we got tons of room in the uh, motorcycle now. So it's not like I have to worry about uh, how much I'm carrying on me. I should break this car apart, but we'll wait till we get to the next construction site to see what it's got for us. Let's just grab this. Ooh, a little bit better stone axe. Um, okay. Modify you. It's weird. Okay. I'm like, yeah, better stone axe. Don't scrap it. Alright, we can scrap this guy though. Alright, uh, let's eat. Actually, let's wait. We're gonna get to the new location. Um, there's some stuff over here, too. Let's grab this real quick. Now, I think this is the place that's got the, uh... Did we already grab it? We did. We already grabbed the, uh, thing out of there. That's fine. Um, let's get rid of you. Bring the shovel back down. So, I want to try and build as much of the initial base out of concrete as I can. Um because there's some hidden areas of the base that um, if I was to make it out of cobblestone, I wouldn't be able to upgrade once we start building. So the four corners are gonna have, um, we're heading east, we wanna go south, right? It's where that, yeah, right there. Um, so the four corners of the base are gonna be three solid blocks thick. And then there's gonna be uh, three slots on each side that are going to be two blocks thick and then so there'll be two blocks thick at block height two and three and three blocks thick at block level one but it's going to be a slight ramp up to blocks level two and three if that makes sense uh, I'd like to show you but I would rather build it and show you at the same time I hear you crawler um, yeah I'd rather build it and show you while I'm doing it and then, uh, on the outside of that, what we're going to do is... Oh, hey, Kenny. Uh, on the outside of that, we're going to put... Um, rather than, like, the, the last base relied on the corner pillars having the... Um, the wire... Oh, this guy's feral. Or quasi-feral. Um, the corner pillars relied on having the... Um, the uh, electric fences built into them. Now I want to build them so that the bottom of that electric fence is down one level so that the top of it is like right at foot level and then just cover it up with plates like angle blocks on the outside so zombies walk up and over it and then cover it up with plates and have shutters on the front so we can just open it and repair it later after the horde's over. Um, and then we'll have two rows of them going that way and then crossing over them we'll have two rows going this way so that all the way around the base, there's like two le two levels of wires. It, it works. It, it really does, like, in my head, how it's going to work out. It's going to be great, but we'll just set the C here. Let's just use up the uh, food that we've got on us. Get one of these coffees in us. And let's get digging. Well, we got a couple zombies showing up over here. Bought the silencer, might as well get some use out of it. Oh, we got a guy right here. See ya. Alright, see what's in the purse. Hopefully we get some more cash out of this. Oh yeah, five bucks closer to getting the hell out of here. I still haven't figured out how much I, you would need to do dollar-wise. 
to buy your way out of here. What we should do is do it incremental so that like every horde night it goes up in price. So every time like you run a horde, right, it's going to cost you X amount more now to get out of here. Uh, I'm getting some lag when I'm looking towards the downtown too. It's probably the sheer amount of blocks that are over there. It's my guess. It's not that it's game breaking, but it's a bit annoying. Yo, you get over here. I want to take care of you real quick. Working on getting another level. Alright, let's go down here. There's a guy down here somewhere. Actually, let's put some stuff in the bike. Should have probably did that before. So we're not quite finished this place yet. Ooh, 22 gas. Um, uh, we'll put the extra first aid, the drink. So we've got two stacks of cement already, which is a couple thousand blocks, but we need the sand to be able to like mitigate that. A little bit of cobble. Oop. How's it going, lady? You don't look so good. They're all twisted up. All right, what do we else do we got here to put in the bike? Actually, most of the stuff. I'm going to leave out, I think, the stuff that we're going to sell. And anything we're keeping, we'll put in the bike. I might as well put those in for now. And that we keep. So we're not doing too... Oh, I mean, the cobblestone's terrible, but it's mostly this we're looking for. So, all right, we'll check the workbench out after we come back up. Let's find this guy down here. There's another guy here somewhere. Level 2 chest armor. That'd be nice if there wasn't one, that's for sure. I don't really need that. Actually, what we'll do though... Um, that was not what I wanted to do. Nothing like grabbing the wrong tool. I think my internal drive is slowly dying. Which is a sad thing. I'm gonna have to replace it. I, I didn't want I didn't want to have to do that this early. But I think it's like I don't know. Either that or it's like really heavily fragmented, but I don't really put anything on it. Is that No, that was not a zombie. Usually the only thing that's on my internal is uh, seven days to die and rogue tech. So I don't understand why it would be fragmented. Like I don't record to it. I don't like I don't, there's not a lot of Windows updates that are happening. So I don't really get why it would be a, you know fragmented. All right, let's repair you now. Do we have? We got level two already. All right, well, we can just sell it. All right, we'll break this up. We got to go back. Uh, let's get the repairs done on this guy. Repair you while we're doing that. Let's go back, wrench the workstations, check out what's in them, uh, and then um, we'll go cruise around to the south a little bit, see what we can find down there. What'll come up on the map because that's it for this site now. So this place is done. All right, what do we got in the mixer? All right, we'll take that for sure. Ooh, bike chassis. Not that we need it. All right, that's the workstations done. Let's move this back up. Then let's take a quick look what's in here. Hopefully we find something out decent. Eh. But you never know. Never know what you're going to find in trash. Eh. Chrysanthemum seed. We'll probably plant that in our, in our garden. All right. Put a little bit of gas in there that we got. Now we're going to have to wrench a few cars at some point. Uh, we're going to want to sell that, I think. That's going to get sold. Those are getting sold. Those guys can go in there. Now we do need to find food. So let's go to the industrial section of town, like I said. And we'll have a look. So we want to go down here. I don't know if we're going to find a restaurant. Let's put a marker right here for now. So we'll head that direction. Head down this way. If I find a couple of regular cars... Like already partially beaten down, I'll probably pull them apart. But I'm not going to stop for uh, ones that are kind of intact. Oh, fuel barrel. So apparently these are acid barrels. From what I understand... Nah. 
I thought sometimes you got a chance to drop acid, but I think that if you find a certain book, they've got a chance to drop acid when you break them. Which is kind of handy, because in order to make a chem station, we are going to need a lot more acid. Actually, we'll just pull out the wrench. Yeah, I'll keep you out. Now that should be... What are we at? 58. Well, we left with about 42, so it's not too bad. Okay, we're going to grab this stuff here real quick. Well, I have to deal with this guy here. Come here, you. Drop them arms. There you go. That's how we like to do it downtown. Even though we're really in the suburbs. Man, stamina drain is real. Alright, what do we got here? More stone, we'll take it. Alright, another construction site. I think what I'll do is I'll probably just grab the sand from here. We're starting to run low on time for today. Um, so we'll grab the sand. Because we already have enough mix. We just don't have enough sand. We got enough stone to go with the mix as well. But the sand is what's holding us back. So we'll grab this. And we'll head out. And then we won't stop anymore. Alright, this should wrap it up here. Let's mark this on the map though. Where are we? Right here. And we were using this one. So we know to come back here. Now, this is the industrial section. So what do we like about this and what don't we like? I don't like the underground there. It would be nice if we could find like an open area with an intersection. That's downtown. I mean, technically we could even go into a parking lot like this one right here. On the right hand side. Or is this part of a... Not part of a POI. Well, there's a passing gas here. Let's see if these uh, pumps work. Looks like they might. Nope. And nope. So, I mean... Like, we could build right in here. We need a bit of space. I think this would do it. We'd have to knock this pole out, though. Although, having to knock these up is not very good. Like, we want it to be flat. So, I mean, we could build, like, right here. Hey, buddy. How's it going? JD's shipping. Let's check out what's over there. Excuse me. All right, we got a bridge. Little causeway down here. I mean, there's all kinds of neat things you could do. Weird the water kind of just ends here. There's all kind of kinds of neat things you could do with the... Uh, um, You had to wait for me to kill her before you got up, eh? Thanks for saving your friend. Uh, there's all kinds of neat things you could do with places like this, you know? There's like sewers. I keep forgetting to turn my light on. That goes up. So, I mean... You could kind of live under here. You know, you could drain the water, I guess. Maybe break that up. Where does this go? Just up to the sewer here. Not a lot. Oh, exchange of blows! Get up. So, I mean, there's not... The thing is, I want to build above it so I can build my base inside one of those, but I don't want it to be easily accessible. The one downtown, or in the, in the uh, business district, commercial district, is, like, relatively easy to um, access. That's why I built there. 
my offline playthrough. And then we're out of the downtown now, or out of the uh, industrial district. Um, there might not be too much here for us. Like, but you see what I mean? Like, there's all kinds of cool places just like this that you could just, like, build over and... Hey, lady. And one more. But I don't think this actually... Yeah, 10,000 hit points. Like, I mean, if you build above that... Like, I don't know how solid that is. That's 5,000. So, I mean, like, this even, if you were to build a temporary base, this would be a perfect place to kind of do it. The hit points underneath this are ridiculously large, so... Uh, what else have we got over here? So that's the refinery. They did a good job redoing that. That looks really nice. But I don't really see anything else in the industrial district that we could use. Like I said, short of like taking a parking lot somewhere. Like this place might have enough space. You know? But there's not a lot to this industrial district, unfortunately. So let's head back up over this way. We'll go through the residential area and see if we can find anything else that's over there. Then we'll go up through the commercial district on this side of the city. I, I guess we have to do it and build our base in the commercial district. It's probably the best place to do it. But I mean, that's fine. I know I've, like, I've kind of built over top of one of those already in an offline playthrough. But, eh, whatever. Alright, this is another one of those ammo crates. Good night. much in there and in our truck we get oh, that's not bad that is not bad at all what time is it we got to stop for food somewhere let me just grab these three we'll grab the ammo crate down here and then um, we'll start looking for uh, a place to grab some food All right, a little bit of ammo. Got a zombie roaming around here, but I want to try and get this wrench before it shows up. Nice. All right, let's go grab some lunch. Biker! Hello! Goodbye. Oh, this bridge ain't bad either. Like, it's so cool. Like, everything is so cool. I just want to build a base everywhere, but I gotta find a place that we can... Oh, donut shop. I think they'll have something in there. That guy will catch up sooner or later. I know we're downtown, but we should be good. That's a parking meter. You guys got any food for me in here? Probably not. A little bit of water. Ah, I got some coffee back that I used. A little bit more coffee. A bit more to drink. I'm just gonna raid your fridge. You feel free to break out of there whenever you're ready. Nothing. Ow! It looked like they hit me. Shh. You're waking people up in town. All right, let's get the hell out of this place. Go look for another place to raid. So we should be able to just drop some stuff in there. Extra ammo. Let's 
Excuse me. Oh, this guy's gonna be worth it. Hello. Ah, glancing blow. Lispank. I don't think I'm gonna find any food in Lispank. Um, where is the, the commercial district? This would kind of be cool too. Commercial district's just above us. This would be kind of a cool area to build a base on too. You kind of chop the tree down and then just kind of build this up. There's so many potential bases they've that they've uh, created just by generating these areas. Even these little power, like the power station that we use, you could just set up as a full full time base, you know. Pardon me. Okay, Joey's car lot, passing gas. Ooh, let's uh stop in and fill up a bit if we can. Yeah, a little bit of gas there. Well, that's nice. And that's it. Let's just check this car real quick. Ooh, there's a uh, little um, cart in there, too. Um, so those things sometimes drop acid. A little uh, workman's cart here. See if we can get acid out of that. Nope, but we got a grenade schematic. Not sure what that... Uh, that janitor was up to, but I'm telling you, don't trust them. Got a grenade schematic in there. There's got to be a restaurant here somewhere, isn't there? Wait, is this the diner? What's this place? Is that a car wash or something? That's a restaurant, but I know that's a tier 3 POI, that's Zelect. Um, I don't really want to go in there. I don't want to spend too much time raiding a place. Oh, there we go, over there. Ooh, wolf. Rough. No, that's an auto shop. For ice cream. Oh, it's over there. I was like, this place looks like it's completely wrecked. Something blew up out front. Ah, oh, crawler's in there. That's kind of cool. Nice little touch. Ooh, we've got another level two. That's probably going to go into strength. Now, how do we get in here? That doesn't work. I guess we get in this way? Looks like. Storeroom? Spoiled storeroom. What's under here? A little food pile. Come on. Just give me one piece of canned food. Of course not. We'll use it anyway, though. Actually, I'll just eat the cornmeal. Dry as fuck, but we'll eat it. Um, can't get up there. Can we get out? We can go up. So is this actually a... Uh, I don't know if this is a remnant POI or if this is a uh, full POI. Lots of sinks here. I guess this is where the ice cream was supposed to be. They got lead and uh, lead and rotten flesh fa flavored ice cream for the apocalypse. Yep, looks like it. Made with real lead and real rotten flesh. And you wonder why the zombie apocalypse happened. Oh man, what do we got in here? More lead, a little bit of iron. Iron. Got a runner, not a runner, but uh, why am I carrying this stuff? Not like we're going to be doing any farming anytime soon. Oh, 46 bucks, nice. 
$46 closer to getting off this rock. And still no food. Well, what's in here? Well, bathroom. This must be a remnant. There's no real way to go in here. Is there a way to get upstairs? Can we get up this way? I guess if we put a uh, frame down, we can. I should be watching the time, but having too much fun. Uh, nope, can't get up that way. Not gonna be able to just drop that down. There must be a, oh, the stairs, dirt. I'm like, there's gotta be a way up. Oh yeah, the stairs that we saw. Is this just a roof? A roof. So there was like nobody here. Oh. He says and then immediately finds somebody that he can't hit. Like how many times? Like honestly, you guys have seen it. How many times has that happened to me? I'll go to say something and then the complete opposite instantly happens. Like it's instantaneous. Oh, that's nice. Uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and use it. We need the food. We'll just take this, the hops. Take that. Ooh, bird's nest. Any eggs? Yeah, we got one. I'm not going to bother breaking it apart for anything. Alright, let's see what's over here. We should be able to make that jump. Yeah, I'm getting lag when I'm facing downtown. It's going to make going down there interesting unless I can find the settings to get that fixed. I think it's just because I've made the uh, I've made the downtown so big that it's um, just the number of blocks in the buildings that are downtown. It's just rendering them all, and then as soon as you look away from the downtown, it's like back to being fine again. So, oh, it's gonna be nightfall. Let's get the hell out of here. Uh, yeah, we'll just run them over. What's up, buddy? Hello. Hi. All right, so we're going to head back home. I want to see how much concrete we can get going. We should have close to a thousand, I think. And we did pick up enough stone, so I will turn some of the stone into sand. Uh, that'll put us not really where we want to be. House is straight, right? It won't give us exactly what we want. Is another place we can come back to. Um, it won't give us exactly what we want, but it'll give us a fair amount. Enough to at least think about starting where, um, like building the smaller part of the base, the footprint. We're right here, I think. Oh, interesting. I put the uh, keybind for my helmet light in my... That's interesting. I thought they were different. Okay, that goes in there. Grab as much of that as we can and get that started once we get inside. Okay, now, um, we should have all the sand on us. Yeah, I can see how laggy that is. We got almost a thousand, so 28 minutes, we'll get that started. So I'm going to get this stuff put away. Um, and when we pick up tomorrow, I think maybe we'll go to the trader and see what kind of job they have for us. Uh, we'll pick up a job from the trader. Uh, but before we do that, I gotta take a tally and see how much we've got now. So we've got 160 blocks here and about 160 blocks of concrete. That's 320. We're not anywhere close to being able to build the regular footprint for the base. So we've got plenty of concrete mix. So maybe it's, maybe there's a, a, a time tomorrow we zip out to the edge of the desert and grab a whole bunch of sand. I know it's boring as hell, but it's got to be done if we're going to, well, yeah, I don't think we're going to get a base built before, um, before Horde on day 14, because it is day nine. It'll be day 10 tomorrow. The traders will restock. So yeah, we'll go see our trader. We'll go see Wrecked, see what they have for us, see what our trader has in the way of jobs, go out to Wrecked's place. Um, See what he's got that we can buy off him. 
If he's got a crucible, that'll be awesome. I'm even considering buying sand off him if I have to. Uh, but we'll go see what they have. Go do a tier 2 mission. And then if we have time at the end of the day, maybe we go down and we hit up that other construction site at the, at the far end that we missed. Or if we've got time, because we've barely explored our entire city yet. Like you can see what I mean by when I said I made this like massive. It's huge, right? Normally it should be closer to this size, but it's not. So we could take a drive down here and see if we can find anything. Like, I don't know, like maybe we do... Like, I mean, we could build a horde base, like, here. It would kind of, well, I don't know. It would fit there, I think, but I'd have to knock out all of the blocks, like all the concrete blocks out of there. I think I could do it by digging the dirt up underneath them and then replacing the whole thing as a big flat concrete sheet. Or we just bite the bullet and build here. Maybe either way tomorrow we'll just I'll pull off this. Oh, there, like there's this intersection right down here, but this building is so close to it though. That looks like it could be a sewer entrance. Maybe we try this one. I don't like the fact that this building is so close though. Like I like it when their buildings are a little farther away. Like this would be better. Right? Because then the zombies have a less of a chance of actually spawning in a building and taking forever to get to us. Like, this is even better here too, right? Because it's so open. They've got lots of room to spawn. So maybe this might be it. Because it might be better that... Like, I think this is all coal. That we dig up all the coal and then replace the ground underneath the main 9x9 nine nine section of the base is concrete. I'm thinking about getting some dynamite to be able to blow up the ground so we can replace it all with just regular concrete instead of the asphalt. Because we can't upgrade asphalt, unfortunately. But anyway, I'm going to leave the episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe and drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.